welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat Spit Productions. I am not quite ready with the shop yet. We're still working on some of the final details to be up and running for full production and education classes and of course resuming the screen printing videos. But I realized there was one thing I could show you right away and that is the venting of the belt dryer which in the previous shop, the cat's bit shop, the garage shop, it was so small that we didn't vent it because there was really no control of the temperature in that small space. But now here in this space, we have 16 foot, you know, ceiling, very high, and we have the ability to vent the dryer out into a vent that's in the roof. And uh, there's a little exhaust fan in there. So I'm going to do my best. It's all set up and installed. So I'm going to do my best to show it to you and point out, you know, how I did it here with my setup. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at how you might vent your infrared or uh, forced air belt dryer. I mean, really it could be any dryer, whether it's gas, forced air, infrared, no forced air, whatever. Um, let's take a look at how you might vent your dryer when you're in an industrial or commercial space. You know that most dryers will come with a little vent stub, meaning that near the rear or somewhere on top of the dryer, you're gonna have this little uh, tube opening. And it's, you know, this one here on the Ranar dryer was only five or six inches, whatever this is. And we got the vent ducting, you know, the six inch, I think this is like six, in six inch venting metal stuff because it's cheaper than that flexible tubing stuff and then you use that uh, the uh, you want to use the heat resistant um, duct sealing tape it, it's that's like the metal stuff okay it's not the uh, regular duct tape the regular duct tape we used farther up the line but when you're down here and you know on the hot this stuff is all going to get very hot we use this uh, metal duct tape. I, you know, and forgive me, I don't know all the uh, technical terms for these uh, contracting equipment or materials, you know, but uh, you get the idea. It's basically the same type of sheet metal and we attach it here and now let's take a look at where it goes. Okay, so there's the connection on the top of the dryer and we went straight up. Okay, we went right, we had to go right near the uh, swamp cooler Thing. That's what that square thing is. Okay, so it goes all the way up to the top of the ceiling basically. And then we used an elbow and we had to go straight across the rest of the shop to the vent area where we're venting out. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, I'm on the other side of the swamp cooler thing now so I can show how this goes. And we'll go take a closer look at where this is ending up. But you can see it goes across the ceiling and we had to do that so that we would we can get over to the vent that's in the top of the ceiling okay so um, sorry about all the video lights and stuff but this is the only way we can show you this now down there you can see there's another tube attached to it and that tube is the exhaust vent for the little air conditioning unit that I have near the press to help in the summertime. I have an air conditioner over here and we needed to vent that along the same line. So we fed that straight up into the same ductwork or tubing or whatever you want to call it <laughs> that vents the belt dryer. And let's see if we can show you this right up there before the junction of the air conditioning vent where the air conditioning vent meets up with a T-joint to the belt dryer vent, we have an induct fan. Remember, I've mentioned this before, I think, you know, talking about venting and stuff. So that fan is connected to a variable speed control and whatnot, a little switch on the wall over there. And then that will help push the, um, the, air through and out that vent and it basically goes through a tube and just elbows upwards right so so it just goes up into that vent there's no physical connection between the tubing and the vent it just goes into the vent okay and the reason why we put the exhaust fan in here was twofold was one because we had the joint juncture of the air conditioning and the belt dryer but also 
the distance that we were doing the belt dryer, the, the amount of tubing that we have between the vent and the belt dryer, we wanted to make sure that it was going to draw sufficiently. And if it doesn't, then we use the fan, which, you know, we tested it out. Everything works good. There's the little control panel for the fan over there by those electrical cords and stuff. So that's it. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to show that to you because we finally have a professional you know, install of the venting, and uh, it's something that a lot of you would probably want to know about. So I figured we would show it to you. So I hope you enjoyed that today as we move forward and get back into some screen printing videos. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I really appreciate your time and attention. If you need screen printing equipment or supplies, please check out my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. And remember, we have a storefront in Phoenix, Arizona, located at 4219 South 37th Street in Phoenix. The zip code is 85040. Give me a call. I'm happy to visit with you at the storefront anytime. Welcome. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.